All right, so I'm gonna go through drawing a piece of furniture here using the primitives. I have a desk that I need to make against the wall or like a workbench in my office. So I'm gonna do a box, pick here, draw it out. And I'm gonna make this, this dimension 36, that dimension four, and this one I'm gonna make it seven feet, six inches. So you can see that I'm typing in and I can mix my units. If I just use a regular number, it's going to be whatever my settings are over here. Um, but I can always change it to any other unit I want. So I'm going to put that. And there's another wall also, so I'm going to do another box. Here and do the same thing. You can see now that's a negative number because I kind of went the other direction. I can click on that point now, so I'm just going to go up and, and touch it. Four, and then there's another 36 inches there. And actually, I'm going to pull this out because that's where I want the desk is 36, but it actually has another. 12 inches there. So I'll, I'll do that so I can see that kind of that whole corner. Um, I like to kind of, since I'm going to make this attach the wall, I'm going to draw the walls also. And now I can go in and draw what I want. So I'm going to put a box. I'm just going to make this a, oops, do a box. I want it to snap to the wall, kind of. So I'm going to pick the wall. And I'll go over here and I'm just going to draw the top of it first. So I want that width to be 36. The height is going to be negative one. And then the length, I want it 18 inches deep. But I don't want it to join to those because I, I want this to be a new piece. So I want to tell it to be a new body. I'll say, okay. Then I can just use move, have it on bodies, pick on that. I'm going to drag it up to, to 30 inches. So now I've got that. Now I can work on putting in the supports and things. So do a box. I'm going to have a two by four back here. So a two by four is three and a half by one and a half. I'll grab this one, I'll drag it, and then I'll just click there. It goes the way, and again, new body. So I just want that to go all the way there. And then a new box. You're gonna pick that point so it goes the same distance. That one, three and a half. Oh, no, I want that to be the one and a half. And I'm just gonna bring this back. It doesn't need to go the full way, so I'll just say negative five. Oops. Uh oh. Don't want to join that. So don't want to join on to be a new body. Actually, I'm going to check something real quick. So this is something you can do as you're doing things. If you do something and you want to try something out, just, just do it. So I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to leave it on join and hit OK. I did that. Can I edit that? No, never mind. Uh, so sometimes I'll do something and I'll be like, hey, I wonder if that works. I was wondering if I could change that from being a join to not, um, but it, it didn't work. So I'm just going to delete that then. All right, and then I need a leg coming down. So I'll do a box. Let's see, I want to go this way. Three and a half. One and a half. I want that to come all the way down to there. And new body. All right. So that's kind of what I want. And I'm looking at it, I'm decided I want this a little wider, so I'm just gonna use this press pull. 
I'll just grab that and that and I'll drag it out. So I want to make it 20 inches or I think I made it at 16. So I'll pull it out another four to make it 20. Now that's off. So I can just move. All right, there we go. Now I want, I want a back shelf here. So I'll kind of make in some, some things for that too. Eight inch high. So I need to move that out here. That's three and a half. Give it a four, four inch move that. Yeah, about there. <clears throat> and so now I want to kind of copy this stuff. So I'll just go to bodies, pick that one, and it's going to control C for copy, control V for paste, and then move it over where I want it to be. Actually, I don't even need that one. Never mind. I'm going to take this one though. Control copy control V. Move that up. And now I'll just draw a box here. I'm going to go from that corner to there. This one time I don't need this one to be half inch maybe we got the 36 we got the seven and a half Oop. didn't want to join it see even I make mistakes sometimes new body there we go so that's my piece of furniture maybe i want to add some ground in here so it makes a little better picture there we go so that's a little workbench that i want to do all right so i, I do that and then you can watch the other video for how I have turned in, but ah, I'll do it here too. So I get it done. Now I'm going to use the snipping tool. So I'm going to go in. If you, you don't already have it here, type snipping, then right click and pin it to your taskbar. So that way it's always down here. You're going to use it a lot in this class. I just grab that, hit new, do a, a lower right angle, and then save what you're doing. So save that. All right. Now we come over here into canvas, click on the lab, hit reply, embed image, canvas, click my files, click upload. Find your file, hit update, and then post your reply. And then there you go. That's how you turn it in. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.